What's up YouTube, I'm Joe, you're watching my channel Ink and Iron, back with another video about my Hermes Rocket. I'm going to clean the keyboard and the internals today. I'm going to start with the internals just because it tends to flick residue onto the keys and I don't like that. And I want the keys to appear seamless at the end because we're just going to put body panels on and cover up most of this stuff. So start with a little air compressor blowout. Okay, that's always a good first step because if you have really big junk hanging out in there, it is now gone. Um, I'm pretty confident this machine's fairly clean on the inside, so what I'm going to do is take some mineral spirits. I'm going to flush out the section even though it doesn't really need it. It's just to make sure that I'm, I'm properly maintaining this machine. Um, but overall, it's, it's pretty good to start with, so we're just going to do some very basic stuff. So as you can see, if you're lazy like me and don't take off the platen, you can expect to clean up little traces of mineral spirits or whatever your preferred solvent is for quite a while afterwards. It gets on these lower rollers down here and just kind of hangs out, but uh, I'm just going to let it evaporate. I have multiple machines, so I can afford to let this one just chill for a while. Um, it's not great for the rubber, but the rubber is also like over 50 years old anyway, so probably needs replacement. I'm not too fussed about it. You'll see other people make a much bigger deal than me. I'm gonna move on to my keyboard. I'm just gonna rag from here to here to prevent any gunk from the keys getting back into the internals that I just cleaned. And then uh, we'll reassemble the typewriter. Okay, that's it. This thing's looking pretty good. Yep, you can see <laughs> still some wetness in here. I may end up blowing it out a bit more to make sure that this keeps evaporating, but yeah, that's what I get for being lazy. All right, let me put this thing back together. Whew, I got a little hairy on the disassembly. I lost one of the screws and had to move everything around and sweep up just to find it. So uh, yeah, pro tip, do this inside of, you know, maybe a tray or something where if a screw gets loose, you can find it more easily. But uh, that is it. This is my Hermes rocket looking done. This is as much cleaning as I really want to do. Never, ever, ever, ever lubricate in here. Never lubricate in here. All you uninitiated typewriter people and you veterans, never, ever lubricate in here. I know someone's going to ask, why didn't you lube it or something? You don't. You do not do that. Okay, there you go. Hermes Rocket. I'm going to go ahead and put the ribbon back in so that uh, we can do an actual review. But thanks for joining me for the cleaning. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, do the things. Uh, if you want to see more typewriter content, as well as I do like multi-tools and knives and um, tool restoration and all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you like that kind of thing, stick around, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you on my next one. All right, bye.